Hey, it's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home again with a Uniden PC68XL. I'm going to talk a little bit about um, putting rudimentary talk back into a radio. Rudimentary because this is not going to be adjustable. You're not going to be able to change it back and forth. You're not going to be able to turn it off. It's just the basic talk back. On the bright side, it's incredibly simple. Anyone can do this. If you know how to use a soldering iron at all, you'll be able to do this without damaging your radio. Um, on the downside, of course, if you don't like it and you don't want it anymore, you got to take your take the cover off and um, and take it out of your you know take take the resistor out of your radio. But this can be done with a switch. You could disable this bright and dim switch here, right there. You could disable that and and make it a talkback function. You could use one of these knobs, like if you don't want to use the RF gain. Some people don't want to use the RF gain. They just keep it all the way up. Because RF gain RF gain does not actually increase your signal. It just decreases it. So, so let's say that's your normal signal right there. Now this is RF gain here. That's your normal signal. And by turning it down, you're actually uh, adding a, a, a resistance in line and decreasing your signal. That's for, obviously, uh, noise reduction and, um, let's say you're trying to talk to someone local and there's someone talking, uh, trying to talk in the background, you turn that down, you hear them. Anyways, so a lot of people don't like using that. You can take that out and, um, and run this, uh, this mod two wires from that potentiometer back to your uh -oh, back to your um, PA and your um, ex, uh, external speaker uh, jacks that is PA and that is your external speaker vice versa I can't remember on this radio but they're back there and these basically all you're gonna do is take a resistor this resistor right here Focus there. That, that resistor right there. This is a 100, 100 ohm resistor rated at um, 1 watt. And you would just place it right there between those two. Now, of course, you would clip the leads. You wouldn't leave it hanging. So you would uh, you clip the leads and just put it right there between those two solder joints. And that would give you a uh, talk back. And I'm going to go ahead and test that out right now and show you. All right, that's focused. Okay. So we got our mic here, it's a Cobra mic. Um, and let's take this resistor, 100 ohm, 1 watt. Let's turn the volume up so you can hear a little better. Let's turn it, and I don't want it too loud. All right, we're going to place those over that, uh, on those solder joints, just to demonstrate. Talk back, one, two, one, two, talk back function, talk back function, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's gone. Talk back, talk back, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We are hooked up to an antenna. I don't have a dummy load on this. I don't, haven't built mine yet. Um, but don't, don't try to talk into your radio without having hooked up to an antenna or a dummy load. But mine's hooked up to my dipole. Uh... So I have less chance of people hearing me <laughs> on a dipole. But um, all we're going to do is take a soldering iron, hit that joint, hit that joint with some fresh solder, and put that baby in line. That's all we're going to do. And we're going to close this back up. And I'm going to paint this, and we're going to sell it on eBay. Uh, that, that'll be a second video of the painting and all that. I'm going to make this thing baby blue. It's going to almost look like this mouse blue. It's going to be a sea foam. It's going to be a classic color. I was talking about that the other day when I made the video of the, um, of the fla uh, 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 Plastidip. And it's going to be one of those Plastidip colors I was talking about. Anyway, so let me go ahead and get my uh, soldering iron and I'll show you that. Alright, you see how I've crimped those? So they have that 90 degree bend in them. Uh, sorry. I would recommend doing that before you cut the leads off. Just to make sure you, uh, you don't cut too much off. 
make sure when you do clip your leads off that you save them. Save your leads in like an Altoids tin or something because they're really great for patching uh, electronics that have been um, damaged or corroded. So clip those leads off, save them, and then come back later and you'll definitely, you'll definitely need these. Now a word of recommendation before you start soldering. Make sure you unplug and turn off all of your equipment before you solder it because you do not want to create a solder bridge while the device is on. A solder bridge is when you either use too much solder and two of these, two of these solder joints touch or you pull away your soldering iron and you'll drag solder with you to another joint. That'll cause a short. Um, it can bypass circuitry. You don't want to do that. It can damage things severely. It can blow stuff up. Uh, I don't mean blow up. You know, like... It, okay, maybe that's a bit dramatic. It could destroy your radio. Now, I know this is the most oxidized soldering iron you've ever seen. But mostly, I just use it for tinning. I, there's a there's just a per, there's a spot there I always use. You notice how everything is everything else is untouched pretty much. That's why it's so damn oxidized. But I'm just tinning the tips of this uh, resistor. Notice that I've put the cover back on my radio because I'm soldering near it. You don't want to drop any solder in there. All right, so I soldered the resistor in. I recorded it. I don't know if the footage is going to come out well though, so I might clip it. I don't know. But we have went ahead and put the resistor in line right there, as you can see, get the focus. And it's not the best solder joint now that I look at it. I'm going to have to fix that. <laughs> that one on the right there, the one on the left's fine, but the one on the right, you see that's a cold solder joint. It didn't take to the other solder. I'm going to have to fix that. But hey, that's all right. We'll do that later. Right now it's good enough to, uh, it's good enough that it's working, so we'll go ahead and test it out, and then I'll fix that later. So I got my mic, uh, got our volume all the way up, let's do a test. Talk back test, one, two, one, two, come on, one, two, talk back. Alright, I don't know if you can hear that very well, let me put the camera down here, so you can hear. Put the, put the mic close to it, and we'll be long. I won't leave you with that angle for very long. Talk back. One, two, one, two. All right. So there you go. That's how you add talk back with a resistor. Remember, that's a 100-ohm resistor, 1-watt rating. Uh, you put it over the PA and external speaker uh, jacks, and um, that's, that's it, man. You're good to go. You got your you got your talking radio. Why is this important? Why would someone have talkback? Talkback is peop, two people like talk two pe, two kinds of people. Excuse me, two kinds of people like talkback. One, the people who just like hearing themselves, and two, it's good for testing your mic. A lot of these radios have mic. Uh, gain on them and if you're if you're too distorted you'll be able to hear that so it really helps and let's say you have a mic and, and you want to make sure that it works um, well there you go you got talk back I mean most of the time you'll be able to see that if you got swing but hey you might not have a meter who knows you might have no money you might have some crappy little radio with no meter in it God knows I've been there so I think this is a good idea for people who, who really want to make sure that they're not, you know, sounding god-awful. You can do that mod right there. You can run two wires to one of these potentiometers. This is basically a potentiometer is a adjustable resistor. You could put it on a switch, the bright and dim switch, if you want to just leave it on dim. I would recommend leaving it on dim because bright increases voltage. It'll burn shit up faster. Or you can take that god-awful Channel 9. In fact, that's better. Put it on the Channel 9. Who in the hell uses Channel 9 anymore? Um, put it on the Channel 9 switch. Anyways, this is Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. I'm going to bring you more content, more videos soon enough. I, my head is full of stuff. If you like this video, like, sub, ring the bell, 
Ding, 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 ding. I'm, I'm going to edit that out. Anyways, so this is Johnny Jones again. I'm here at home again, and I'll see you later. I usually try to cut during the I'll see you because it's like my like I could go.